Hey, welcome to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. Today we want to kind of take a look at disconnecting our refrigerant, our manifold gauge from our refrigerant system. Now, I know that doesn't sound like a big to do, but you wouldn't believe the number of people that still have questions about how do you properly do that. The biggest thing and the number one thing is that we, we demonstrate and we operate with a level of safety. So you always want to make sure you have on some type of eye pro um, and something to protect your hands. The temperature of that refrigerant, especially coming outside of the, the liquid line, can get really cold really, really fast. And it's very easy to experience frostbite in a very short amount of time. You always want to be preventative um, because an accident wouldn't be an accident if we planned it, right? So make sure that you're safe when you're working on a refrigerant. Now, uh, one of the things is if you have some, some ideas or some, some ways that you've done it in the past of disconnecting hoses, please comment below. Make sure you see, we just want to see what's out there. Remember, we're one big HVAC fraternity and so we can all learn from everyone. But here's some of the things that, that uh, you can do to kind of make sure that you keep as much refrigerant in the system as possible. So one of the things that you want to do is you have these, these low loss fittings and, and disconnects where we can kind of block off. Uh, so that when we when we disconnect our hose, we're only going to have refrigerant from here um, to this this point instead of a big spray and a big mist when we when we when we pull pull our pull our high side line or our our liquid line off. So now that we've got everything hooked up, we're going to go ahead and pull all the refrigerant out of our lines and as much of it back into our system as we possibly can. We want to make sure we lose as little refrigerant as possible. So we cut off our red side. Now we're gonna get a little bit of a spray because I've got refrigerant in my gauge from, from this point to my access point. So there's gonna be a little bit of a spray there, but not, not too bad. So we take that off. We're gonna connect it back to our hose, to our, to our manifold rather. Once we do that, we can open everything back up. Now, you're gonna see the pressures kind of jump up and then you'll see them kind of start to fall down and they'll get to a point where they're about equal. So we open everything back up, see them jump up a little bit and then they'll start to fall. And once they start to fall, they'll get to where they're about equal. Now, once we get to that point, what we wanna do is we wanna come over here to our suction side and then close that off. Now we've only got just that little bit of vapor there um, in our line. So we can take that, we just get a little spray, and then we're, we're done. Okay? So that's one way to connect your hoses to minimize refrigerant loss in your system. Now we still got a little bit left in our gauges, but it's all vapor. Um, and so uh, that's, that's a way that we can kind of make sure that we keep as much refrigerant in our system as possible and protect ourselves against that, that violent spray um, of ice cold refrigerant that could cause some type of frostbite. Go ahead and comment some of the products that you use, uh, whether it be low loss fittings or shut off valves on your hoses. What is it out there that you guys like to use um, when it comes to mitigating as much refrigerant loss as possible on the system? Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday, and we look forward to seeing you and speaking with you real soon.